Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies and today I'm going to show you one of our most popular commands the segment labeling tool in CAD Power and Geo Tools. Uh, if you go to CAD Power you can see the annotation menu under that you have label polyline segments. Using this tool you can label the segments of the polyline with either distances, bearing, slope and so on. So let me choose distance. I can choose whether I want slope distance or horizontal. I'll set my text height as 40. I want I can set all fine-tuned parameters for the labeling like I want above segment always upright and the layer and so on. So I'm going to select this polyline. Okay so you can see that it has labeled every segment of the polyline with its distance. So that was the distance option. I can run it once again and try something else. For example I'm going to choose bearing and if you go to the options you can specify the bearing in different ways. So I'm going to choose one of these. Let us say this one and let me change the height to 25. I can also set the precision for the values so I have chosen two decimal places annotation below the segment and I'm going to select this same polyline again so you can see I have got both distances as well as bearings annotated so this is quite useful tool for people in the civil survey or even the you know infrastructure and facilities management industries or for that matter it can be useful for anyone who just wants to draw any bounded polygon or an open polyline and then wants the labeling to be done. Uh, for instance somebody may draw an open polyline like this which is a path and just want to write all the labels on that it can be used very well for that purpose as well. We have seen distance and bearing but there are many other options. For example you can combine both distance and bearing in one annotation. So I choose this. I choose 40 as my height and above segment and I'm going to select this polyline. So you can see now it has drawn the distance and put the bearing just next to it. So you can fine tune your annotation exactly how you want it. There are several options. What if you wanted to number these segments? So that's possible as well. So we can go back to polyline segments and I'm going to use running numbers as my option this time and my starting segment is 1 and I want it below the segment and I'm going to choose this polyline apply so you can see that now I have the segment number also next to each annotation so you have one two three four five and so on so that is the segment labeling tool you can access it from the pull down menu like I showed you here or you can access it from the toolbars I can switch on the toolbar and you can see it here the label polyline segment and all the cat power commands can also be accessed from the command line if I type cp underscore I can see all the commands and I can see the command cp underscore seg label that is from the command line it works identically in AutoCAD as well and it's in exactly the same way how you saw here in BricsCAD. So we have the toolbars. In addition, we also have the uh, ribbons in AutoCAD. You can go and run the segment labeling command from the ribbon as well. I hope you like this command. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do feel free to get back to me if you have any questions. Thank you.